Uh, thanks, guys. I appreciate everyone coming out. Um, you know, myself, I'm speaking on behalf of uh, myself and Mark and uh, Crystal Mentz and uh, all the people at Adrenaline Training Center. We're uh, very proud to be a part of this, and uh, we're very grateful that our charity, the Sean Tompkins Memorial Fund, was thought of. Um, so uh, this this money is going to be going uh, for, towards the St. Leonard Society, which is um, a charity that, that Sean was uh, very passionate about and uh, was involved with for uh, for many years before his death. And uh, you know, again, very very uh, grateful for everything that everyone here's done and, and everyone who's involved in this project. Thank you. Anybody else for autographs? Hi everyone, thank you so much for coming out here today to our Fight for the Kids charity event. Uh, big thank you to Josh for uh, hosting uh, today's event. Uh, Josh has been a supporter of ours for quite a bit and it's just very fitting to have him here speaking at this event. We started three years ago. We made an impact in our community. We built playgrounds. We built, um, we helped schools purchase sports equipment. We sent kids to summer camp. We sent many kids to after school and weekend sports programs. And to this date, our impact has helped over 100,000 children all across North America be active and be healthy. So today we are here for four wonderful causes and what they all have to do uh, with each other is the fact that they all help at-risk youth. They help at-risk youth get active, get healthy, and make a difference in their lives. Um, um, we are pleased to announce uh, that over the next four years, spread out over the next four years, there will be a $10,000 donation uh, based out of a foundation, a private foundation in Windsor, Ontario, that's going to support the St. Leonard's Society in London, Ontario, in the name of the Sean Tompkins Memorial Fund. to meet Sean Tompkins at uh, the first event in Ontario, the MMA event uh, for Casino Rama when Hordeski was fighting. Uh, right after following all the interviews, Sean took about 10 minutes of his time, uh, handed me his card, he said, whatever you need, come out to London, we'll, uh, we'll help you out. He's, he had a fighter house for Hominick's training camp, and uh, he was just, he was great. He, uh, he made sure that I had whatever I needed, and just the, the guy, you can just see it in his voice. When he talks to you, you see it in his face, he's just an excellent individual. All right, this is Carlin Bardsley, MMA sucker. And uh, next sports star, he's got his yeah, own show people now. People so in any walk of life that you never heard anyone say a bad word about. Uh, he was just a really kind, open-hearted guy. And in, actually, he was the, the first MMA personality to ever uh, grant me an interview. I was, I figured, you know, the, he's the best guy to go to. And he was really, really kind and uh, really open with his time, really accessible. And uh, the impression he left with me is that, uh, you know, anything it takes to grow this sport, I'm going to do. Yeah. And uh, that's, you know, that's Sean well, Tompkins to a T right there. Being Canadian and loving MMA, I mean... I've heard of him so many times. He's like almost a legend, if anything. I mean, you look at the, the team he has and the guys he's trained over, over his career. I mean, just the Canadian guys, but the guys in Vegas too. I mean, so many fighters have uh, come through his, through his system and you know learned how to strike under him. And I, you know, he, he's had so much success as a coach. And um, you know, everything I've heard of him, he was a great guy and an amazing person. And you know, you know devastating for these guys. I don't think you'll ever replace a guy like Sean Tompkins. I've never had the pleasure of meeting the man, but I think uh, just based on uh, the team's struggle since uh, his tragic passing, it just goes to show that uh, the influence that he had on these guys. I mean, uh, Mark Hominick, Sam Stout, these are top, top-notch, top-level fighters, and uh, you can see it in their fight games that they've struggled, and it's a hard adjustment to make, and I think that's just... Uh, it's a credit to his coaching ability and what he was able to do and uh, hopefully they'll be able to get back on track and uh, represent him well like I know that he'd, he'd uh, pardon me for the voice I've lost it but uh, <laughs> Sean Tompkins man he's just a guy a legend of the sport all he did was uh, care for the fighters care for the families uh, care for the people around him 
<clears throat> any fan that ever approached him, treated him like a family, treated him like his own. He, uh, he was a guiding light for every one of these guys, man. And, you know, adversity uh, hits everyone one day, and he would always find a way to rise above it and help his guys rise above it. And he's just a powerful, powerful man in every single way that you can possibly think of. Athleticism, he breathed excellence. Right. In the industry, uh, you can see from his pupils and all his students that, you know, what, uh, his legacy is going to live on from student to student, you know, from Sam Stout all the way to Chris Wierdeski to Mark Hominick. You, know, you, can't, you can't say nothing bad about the coach. Very well respected.